Hello everyone, welcome back to chess. Uh, we are playing black here against Peepsqueak. I've been wanting to play some with the Sicilian, and it happened to come up for black in uh, my my opponent in the last game played it, so why not? Let's go here. Okay, and we're putting together a nice solid center of sorts. I feel like they should have made me play this at some point. I think I'm okay just chasing this away, and if you back up here... I don't mind something happening to my queen side, but also I don't mind just like leaving this for a while. Developing another piece. Like here. I'm not really pinned. I can just leave whenever I want because this pawn is still here. Now this comes with an attack against the bishop. So I can't kind of feel like they want to do this. And I get a pawn here, which is pretty cool. Is there something else? I don't know. This seems fine. This comes with tempo against this knight as well. Oh, really? Here? Don't I... Isn't this pawn pretty tough for you to hang on to? Maybe you can do this, I guess. Oh, wait, hang on. Check. Win the bishop. Was that their last move? No. They just moved the knight. Oh, I'm so pleased I finally noticed this. Usually I misplace like this. Oh no! <laughs> <This idea. laughs> I had to take care first. I know it's too late. I was just so excited to cash in. Uh, <laughs> okay, well. Um, I briefly was ahead, and then I blew it all up. Ah, this game. Right, because right, right here. No, I can't. I can't just delay taking this because my queen's under attack. This whole thing never worked. Huh. Interesting. I did not see this defensive resource. Um... Well, great. I'm never castling, and my pawn structure sucks, and I'm down, like, a lot of material. Where can this knight go? Here. Basically just here. So if I kick him, that's what he does. Then what? I could do that. I don't want to trade, though. Ugh. So I guess... At the time that they found this bishop move... There wasn't a lot my queen could do. I could, I, I'd have to send her all the way back home, right? Maybe I could do this? Wow. Anyway, here we are. They castled. Um, let's just chase this away now before I castle. I can't castle. I'm on the wrong side. I moved my king already. Uh, did I say earlier that I would castle? I'm definitely not going to do that. 
it would be illegal. Oh my god, where am I even going to put my king? Let's just make some pawn moves and hope something good happens. I don't know, maybe I should be doing something like this. Probably I should be. At least I can make use of this rook. A little. This doesn't really work, they just chase it away. So I think I kind of have to either take or plan to recapture. I guess I'll plan to recapture. Joke's on you. I wanted to get over here slowly anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. It's not really a threat yet, is it? Once they double with the queen, it will be, though. There won't be much I can do about it. Well, I can then sidestep. Yeah. Let's just move my king. I don't know. Probably this is bad tactically somehow. But I kind of want to get over to relative safety and then get my rook developed by castling this way. Ah, uh, this is vulnerable. Not much I can do about it either. As I said earlier, this just gets immediately deflected. Well, I can back up now. Let's give it a try. To here. Actually, if they do this, I kind of actually have to trade. And then they can just return and pick this up. I lose... Not only do I have to trade while down material, they just pick up even more material. Yeah. Okay, well, they didn't do that. I get this instead, and now their bishop is looking... Maybe not as great as it might otherwise be. Um, knight here? Problem is this, right? I mean, ugh, I just, I hate what's going to happen when they take here. Let's get the rook up. I lose, I, 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 they, they trade material, which they want to do, but at least I don't blow up my king's safety. Oh, okay. I kind of like the spot, I think. My opponent just trying to make sure not to blunder this conversion. Uh, shouldn't have too tough a time of it, I would think. But, I don't know, the pieces are looking a little precarious right now. Okay. It's a scary looking move for sure. I don't know exactly how it's going to work yet. 
Like, how do you get another defender for this space? I guess, like, a problem that I have is that all of my pieces are kind of tied down. The rook has to stay on this file. I like what what okay let's let's attack the bishop it also x-rays the queen but i think that's more of a liability than an asset because my bishop is also being attacked yeah i thought so so we step back here So I would need a pretty powerful knight threat to, to let me do this. I think it's like basically impossible. Okay. What's she up to? She's attacking this. Can't go there. Can't go here. This doesn't really accomplish anything. This? Defends the pawn, I guess. That drops this pawn. I see. Well, I could drop back. Now I threaten this discovery, and since the bishop's actually defended, it works a little bit better. But, like, here... Okay, now the rook is being attacked. I think I'd probably better just try to hang on to it. I could fall back like so, but this, this square is the one they want to checkmate me on, so I kind of want to keep it defended. I guess I could have done this. That just creates way too many dark square weaknesses. Bishop here would be a threat. God, my position is such a mess. Look at these pawns, not helping each other at all. Obviously, the fact that only one side has a queen is the bigger issue. Now this doesn't work anymore. But I do have this square if I want it. I mean, I... It would be wrong to say that I want it. It's not really accomplishing anything other than locking this rook out. But right now, locking a rook out is kind of the best I can hope for. Right? I mean, I'm I'm way down on material, but I'll, my opponent's rook... Rooks are both not really playing, so I'm not dead yet. Right? In terms of pieces that are doing something on the board, it's pretty close. Check? This attack? I don't know, that just invites the queen here to defend against this threat. I think I should do this, right? I don't know, that... Obviously it wins material. But it gives them some counterplay, or like... It activates this rook pretty well. Do I have some better continuation after this? After king in the corner? 
I feel like I want to do this first so that this bishop attack can't. Um, doesn't doesn't do anything though. Just here, 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 and they're like fine. All right, let's win some material so it's a less embarrassing finish. Even though it will still be a defeat. And uh, what if I try to chase away the bishop? That doesn't really work. They just take. If I, if I chase away the queen, it does temporarily work. No, she just comes here. Oh my god. I just like, I don't know. No, none of my pieces can do anything. This this threat this doesn't even really threaten anything. It doesn't even threaten to defend here because the rook is very badly needed to defend this square. Right. I'm 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 back rank vulnerable if like check takes. If they could ever get a queen here, it would be instant checkmate. Just like what what can I even do? Shuffle this bishop back and forth? Yeah, just wait for them to bring a knight over and then keel over and die. I guess you go here. And then this is the checkmate you want? Yeah. Well, let's see if we get away with this. It's obviously made in two, but they might miss it. Um, and I'm dead anyway, so I thought I would try a discovery on the queen and see if they just, like, let me win the queen for free. The computer won't be happy with that move. I, I don't know. It'll say, oh, checkmate is now unavoidable, but I bet it was already unavoidable. I was made in three, actually. I can sack the bishop first. They don't even want that, huh? Some other checkmate? Actually, doesn't this... This lets me not be checkmated when they take here, although it's still very good for them. I mean, that lets me bring my bishop in to defend. That's pretty cool. This is a square I'm very happy to have my bishop on. It does drop this, which I guess is a problem. I kind of forgot that I cared about anything other than my king. Yeah. Trying to like chase the queen away like so. Doesn't work though, does it? Because once they do this, yeah. Well, I can do this. Here is not checkmate because I have a rook.
Not sure about that one, actually. No, don't pre-move that. Only, it's only good if they play the rook there. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm somehow starting to recover. Still extremely losing, but... Here... Would just let me trade a rook for a bishop, which is not that amazing. Uh Okay, now we threaten this area. I think we actually can draw. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, here, right? The king has to return. And I, I don't think I'm going to do better than a draw with this horrible pawn and my absolutely ruined king side. So here's my chance to not draw if I still wanted to somehow push for a win. Is there something amazing I can do with this bishop? Some incredible discovery. I just don't think there is. There's nothing on light squares that I can... I mean, I don't know. I could go here, here. But that just lets them renew this attack, I feel like, right? Here... Oh, no, not true. Because here forces this, and then check again? But then they can escape. I, I don't think I want to allow that. Let's just take the draw. They don't want it. Okay, they're going to try to flag me, maybe? Despite the material? lead that I now have? Oh, I should have grabbed this. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, I was figuring I can defend it like that. Which is true. Um, but just picking up the pawn would simplify things a lot. I think I might actually win after that queen sack. Bishop's defended. Attacking here. Kingside is fine, I think. This pawn's doing a good job. This F pawn is a is a monster. Um, I think we want to do this soon. Although then this pawn becomes an issue, right? Probably should have moved to a light square. I don't know. I wanted to be near this pawn. Yeah. I guess this doesn't really work, does it? My bishop can't go anywhere after this. Whoops. Yeah, that's... No, I can go here. Defended by the rook.
I love that trade. That just simplifies things for me, right? Now something like this is an obvious easy threat. I don't think that rook's going to do anything anytime soon. Maybe, maybe rook here. Yeah, that's something, I guess. But then I can defend... Well, that doesn't really work, does it? This is exactly where I want my rook to be, defending both of my loose pawns. I, I was worried if they do this, I can't get here, but they didn't do it. I don't know how we ended up converting this. Well, I, it's not converted yet. Um, I think they were... They'd seen me spend so much time and thought I couldn't play it all quickly. And they were like, I'll just flag this idiot. Um, which is not an unreasonable conclusion to draw. But I don't think it's true. Let's get over here. Now the bishop is protected. I lose that, but I really don't care. I just have to not get checkmated, and I'm pretty sure I can manage that here, here. These pawns are not fast enough, especially with my rook here hanging onto things. And my bishop, I don't know. It's hard to imagine what they could even threaten, really. I'm up time since the trade happened, by the way, I think. Let's try not to blunder the queen, at least. Um, but I think she should be fine. Mm, check. Forces king here or rook blocks. King here would be checkmate, so it has to be here, here. And then I can... Yeah, yeah, this is great. The queen is seeing into this area very well. Good game. Kind of a shocking win. Um, yeah, I mean, tell me, tell me about it. Dropping the queen was obviously my my star blunder. Um, so there was a tactic here, but I took advantage of it incorrectly, huh? So they should have just taken that, but instead they did this. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Right. This was my chance to get rid of the knight. I thought of doing it after this, but that doesn't work. It has to be now you get rid of the knight, they have to retake. And then this is a real fork. Okay. So I saw this and I just got excited and played it, but I should have thought it through and seen this. And also, by the way, like this square should should still be glowing bright red as like things to double check before every move, um, because this is already a threat. It's attacking here. Oops. Um, but once I take this bishop, it will even more be attacking my queen. Um. And so that, that should have been, like, a warning signal to make me consider, like, hey, even if you don't see this move, suppose, like, something bad happens when you play queen here. What might happen to you? This. Um, and then I can get rid of that threat by playing this first. And it comes with tempo. They kind of have to take it. And this will still be there. 
Plus, this is like already an this is an improvement, even if there isn't some tactic over here, because um, this pawn is like a liability, and my center is amazing. Okay, they gave me a chance to do something cool here, and I didn't do it, huh? So really, now was my chance to play this? Why? Ah, be because the, the bishop is safe right now. So here, what can they do? I'm controlling all these squares. So this one I'm controlling indirectly by threat of fork. This one I'm controlling directly. And I'm controlling all of these as well. And here. So I think the best move for the opponent is actually to trade the queen in for the rook here, right? Yeah. Very cool. So I... I, I don't remember if I had noticed this discovery now. I noticed it eventually, but like at a time when I couldn't really play it. Um, but right now is when it suddenly became real. Yeah, they're basically saying, you can't defend this square. Just get a king or a rook out of the way so the fork doesn't work. Once they don't do that, I have this idea. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. So I don't, I don't remember if I had noticed this discovery and said, oh, I can't do it because the bishop's under attack and forgotten that now that my knight's in the way, that's not true. I think that's not the case. I think I like just I hadn't even noticed it yet, and only later did I see it. So this, it says, is awful. Right. Because I was miles behind, and then they gave me a chance to get a queen for rook trade, and I didn't take it. Instead, I did this, and I lost more of my counterplay. Oh, yeah, rook enters. That would have been pretty good. Oh, mate in four. I thought it was mate in three. Why, why four? I see. I was assuming that I would retake here, and then it is mate in three. But it's saying, actually, if your goal is to delay the game, you should bring this bishop in first. Um... And then they can't take here yet. They have to spend another move capturing. And then you have a, a safe space for your king briefly. Well, not a safe space. You, you get to do beat death by one more turn. Okay, but so they, I tried this like tactic, and they didn't... Um... Knowing that this was conceding the game, I thought maybe they would let me get away with taking the queen. They didn't do that. But instead, they gave up the knight and then continued to miss this. And I suddenly made things harder for them. And I thought, hey, let's attack the bishop. Uh... And uh, I didn't actually plan, when I moved bishop here, the specific, like, draw that I tried to create. Um, I just thought, like, hey, let's attack that pawn. It'll annoy them a little. Um, but they didn't... When they did nothing about it... Isn't... Why is this, like, 3.6? Why not a draw? Oh, bishop blocks was the way out. Okay. They didn't see that. They only saw queen blocks. I see. But after queen blocks, it's suddenly hugely winning for me. Yes, obviously I should have picked up the pawn. I noticed that the next move. And then did pick it up. Mate in 12. 
character, I guess. But just tying down all the pawns, this seems like a simple way to convert. Okay, I mean, I think honestly my endgame went pretty well. I missed a, a maiden 11 or whatever it was, but I'm okay with that. I think this is kind of fair. We both blundered a queen. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, okay, so knight d4, it doesn't like that, huh? I thought it was kind of cool. We attacked the bishop. And we, we established this cool center, right? There must be something they're supposed to do that punishes it badly. Because it says, oops, it says taking was a disastrously bad move. So they're supposed to do something else, huh? Just back up with the bishop, maybe? And then what is this knight accomplishing? Maybe. Or just do nothing and castle would might be their other response to this play. Um... Here defends that. Doesn't seem that important. I could attack the bishop, make it run away. Doesn't seem that great. Develop a queen? I don't know. What if I just shove this? this pawn all the way down. Does that work? I don't think so. Takes, takes, takes. Well, maybe it does. No, it hates that. Oh. My knight was the only defender of this pawn. So I kind of thought I was attacking this, and that was cool. I think I didn't notice the knight was defending. And so I can't afford to give this up. I thought they had to do this, but they don't. So I could do something like this, and then this becomes a real threat. Okay. And then, yeah, 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 we looked at this one. I was supposed to do that. And then... I picked up the bishop. What should I have done instead? Just come back home, right? Yeah. Concede that my tactic was a bad one. It hates this. Right, we were supposed to do that. Okay. That's a cool game. I'm always happy with a win. Even if it did involve an early game blunder. And it must be said, like, only one... Well, okay, four blunders. <laughs> but, um... Only one I was really upset about. Four, huh? Well, yeah, the queen move was kind of like two blunders. The queen tactic. Dropping the pawn. Okay, yeah, well, we're all four of them anyway. Okay, and the other one was missing made in 10. I don't mind. Oops, I didn't mean to look at my profile. Whatever. So, they're attacking my queen. Is there something going on with this? It's a check. Kind of forces king here, because I think anything else is checkmate. Right here. Can't run away. And if you go here... Boop. So this forces king takes. And then... The knight and the queen and this pawn ought to be enough to figure something out. Check. 
forces king here, and then check. Yeah. It's nice to be able to pre-move a maiden three. Okay, I like that puzzle well enough. Takes my rook. I have an in-betweener here, I think? Not really? What does this accomplish? Check. Queen takes. Check. I don't know, that doesn't seem very good. So what about takes? Then takes, I think. And I'm just like down the night. This is a really cool place to put a rook, but I don't quite have it. Ah, I think I get it. So takes here, if takes, I pick up this rook, and I was thinking, well, hang on, takes, takes, um, I could grab this rook with my queen. But then takes here, and I guess I get this rook. But now I'm down a queen for a rook, right? So that's not good. But like takes, takes, takes. I thought there was something cool going on that prevents them from doing this, i.e. that I get this back rank thing. But the king can weasel out of it if I no longer have a queen here. So I have to, I think, divide some attack where the queen gets to stay here, and I get to put a rook there. And the only thing I see that threatens that is this. But there's like, there's even a knight there, so I don't know. He here. Here, maybe. That would be probably pretty bad. Because then I get this? No, they just take. I don't know. So is, is there something going on with this check takes? I mean, here, 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 doesn't really work. What about this? Is that something? No. It attacks the queen, but they could just, for example, do this, check. This is my only move, and then checkmate. Well, not my only move. I could do this, but it's just as bad. What about this? Seems pretty horrible. They can just take this for free, because I'm pinned. Here? Is there... I feel like this has to be the right first move. But I don't see a good continuation. Okay, good. There's a reason there's no good continuation. This was the other thing I saw. It doesn't work. 
This seems not good, right? Maybe it is good for some reason. I didn't think of that, but like here, you either have to move the king, which seems bad, or take like one of these. And then this is a more of a threat. Yeah, look at that. So now I can pick up this rook with check. And that lets me grab this rook. Okay, so the same thing happens if here, I guess. And likewise here. That's Yeah, okay, that's that's checkmate. Probably don't do that. Okay, so that's I was so focused on the knight move, yes, it comes with check, but I was like, it comes with check and I can like pick up the knight so that it's not doing something useful. But what was really important is discovering an attack on this rook in a way that they can't add another defender to it. And so this doesn't work, but this does. And the reason this rook is so important is not just because it's a rook, but because you can take it with check and untangle this whole mess. Okay, good puzzle. Anyway, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.